For over 50 years, ESA has led Europe's journey into space. And for five decades, one network has kept us connected to rockets, satellites, planets and the cosmos. ESTRAC is ESA's global network of ground stations. Each one keeps us connected to spacecraft. From liftoff through low Earth orbit and far into deep space. Estrac's story began in Spain. In 1975, we set up our first antenna in Villa Franca, near Madrid. It marked the beginning of Europe's autonomous link to space. From there, the network grew. New antennas expanded our reach across all orbits, supporting European launchers with dedicated tracking systems. In 2003, Estrac went beyond Earth. ESA built its first deep space antenna in Australia, then a second in Spain, and a third in Argentina. Together, they formed 360 degree coverage for deep space exploration. We are just about to inaugurate our fourth deep space antenna in New Norcia, Australia and are planning the fifth one also in uh, South American longitude. Our deep space antennas are not static colossus of uh, concrete and steel. They embed a large number of highly sophisticated uh, technical equipment, cutting edge technology that we keep on improving to increase the performance of the station. We move continuously to the higher bands, adoption of KA band, 26 gigahertz to address the needs of the Euclid mission. Today, the network spans six stations across three continents and link back to ESA's mission control in Darmstadt, Germany. ESOC is in charge of managing the ground segment for our missions, among those the asterisk stations around the globe, and we operate the stations as an essential part of our end-to-end -end mission operations. Here, teams work around the clock engineers, scientists, mission controllers, even astronauts. All of them play a role, working with pinpoint precision 24-7. So ESTRAC is an essential capability for ESA to operate the spacecraft from our mission control center here at ESOC. ESTRAC is serving all type of mission that ESA is flying, Earth observation missions, interplanetary missions, scientific missions, more and more space safety missions, and lunar exploration. As ESA ambitions grow, ESTRAC has to grow too. And that's why we are building the New Norcia station in Australia. The new New Norcia station will provide us with two stations at the same location, at the same longitude in Australia, allowing us to provide more capacity to our missions, to do arraying services, so enhance again our capacity, and also increase our, uh, our availability and resilience from this side. ESTRAC powers ESA's most ambitious missions, from Mercury to Mars, Jupiter and beyond. ESTRAC is so important for ESA and for Europe because it's Europe's global network of ground stations, allowing us to communicate with our world-class cutting-edge missions many millions, even billions of kilometres away. We use this ground station network to send our critical commanding, keep the satellites safe, and also to downlink the very valuable science data. World-class missions need world-class infrastructure, and our ground segment engineering and operations team take care together to develop and operate these very complex systems. 
The test track isn't just ESA's link to valuable science. It's a tool for global collaboration, supporting partnerships with space agencies and even commercial space flights around the world. As our missions grow more complex, S-Track is evolving. In 2025, a new deep space antenna will join the network, with more on the way. Looking ahead, new technologies are on the horizon. Laser communication could boost data transmission by a factor of 10, or even 100, helping us meet the growing demands for next-generation missions. And one day, these breakthroughs could enable a seamless connection between networks on Earth, the Moon and Mars, the first step towards a solar system internet. So the key reasons that ESA builds deep space antennas um, on Earth is so that we can bring data back from our iconic science missions and also to send instructions up to those satellites that are in deep space. And the ESA Science Programme aims to answer some of the biggest questions that humanity has to ask. Are we alone in the universe? Is there life out there? How does the cosmos work? What is the nature of the laws of physics in the universe? And so we have missions that study everything from our own sun all the way out to the nature of space-time in the future. The Deep Space Antenna Network is critically important for bringing the data back from those satellites that are sensing the nature of the universe to our scientists across our member states and our international collaborators and also for sending the instructions out to those missions, particularly the ones in the solar system, to tell them where to fly, how to fly and what to do next. Estrac has always been Europe's bridge between Earth and the stars. And now it's heading into the future at the speed of light. <laughs>